We talk with Chris Doyle from Goodman Games about their latest project today on Dungeon Craft. Deathbringer here. Subscribe so you never miss an upload. Chris, it's been a while. What has Goodman Games been working on? Uh, we've been working on a lot of things, uh, Professor, uh, but we're most excited about Dungeon Denizens, our new uh, Kickstarter coming very soon. Uh, about a monster book. When does the Kickstarter go live? Kickstarter goes live on February 21st, just a couple of days from now. Now typically I don't do Kickstarters like I, mm -hmm. because I never know if people are going to deliver, mm -hmm. but Goodman Games is a strong we, track record of delivering. We are locked in, we have been promoting this for weeks now. You and your viewers are probably aware, there is a lot of monster books out there. You could even say the market's flooded with them. So the first thing is, why is our book different? Uh, it has 500 monsters in it. Early on in the project, when we were conceptualizing this, the publisher, Joe, said, why is this, what makes this book different than any other monster book out there? And I told him, this was my pitch to him, was, you know what sounds really good? 500 monsters for 5e. And then there was dead silence on the phone, and then he came back and said, that's brilliant, let's do it. Then afterwards I realized, uh-oh, now we have to design 500 monsters. <laughs> That's the challenging part of the project, but still the cool part. So, so who did you get to design them? So primarily uh, myself and Michael Curtis, who handles our DCC side of the, of the house. Uh, That's did, S Michael Curtis of Stonehill. Right? Yes, it is of Stonehill fame. He joined Goodman Games a year and a half ago, I believe. So he handles the DCC side of the project uh, product lines. I handle the 5e side of the product lines at Goodman Games. So we're the one-two punch. So I was finishing up on Temple of Elemental Evil, so I was not available to start working on this, but Michael did have some time. So he started it way back in 2020, during the early days of the pandemic, actually. And then I took over when I joined Goodman Games full-time. I started doing development, but then we still needed a couple of hundred more monsters. So then we started, uh, we did an open call for um, 5e writers. And the first assignment that they were uh, given was to design monsters, which is really exciting. And it was a perfect proving ground basically for them. So this is an entry point for a lot of new authors that we haven't heard their voices um, before. You've heard a lot of their voices already, actually, in other, in other you know, not for Goodman Games, but for other uh, projects that they've been working on, DMs Guild, etc., yada, yada. So, but this was the, these, a lot of these folks were the first time they were working specifically for us, and, and we are still working with many of them, and folks who are familiar with our product line have already seen some of their other work come out before Dungeon Denizens, so. So can you say a little bit about who those people are? Can you name them? Um, I certainly can name them. So we have uh, one guy, uh, Scott Moore, who has been playing D&D since the either late 70s or early 80s. Uh, he is actually working on the conversion to Caverns of Thracia right now. So he is like the head designer on the 5e side for that. Uh, and then we have um, uh, folks in the industry probably have heard of Celeste Conowich, uh, who is now with Cobalt Press. Uh, she was a contributor. Uh, and let's see, what do we got? Uh, Brian McKenzie is a history professor in Ireland who is actually doing uh, several of the monsters and he's worked on several of the other books that we have. Uh, he actually teaches his curriculum, involves game design um, at his college, which is fascinating. And uh, another one is uh, Mihailo Teshik, who is a huge DCC fan, but also a 5e fan. Uh, he is in Serbia, and he has been working with us on these products and several others, like our free RPG, RPG Day book uh, last year was written by him. Mm. So, and, and a cast of thousands. I, I hear you even got to do a monster for I our book. Get a, I get to... I did get to do a monster. Yeah, we can talk about that later. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know if I should keep it a surprise. Do it's your call. A surprise. It's your call. You can. It's it's I your monster. I'm going to keep it a surprise. Okay. That way nobody monster. knows. Okay. But it, it it is in there, and I enjoyed working on it. I was just shown the artwork. It's awesome. So, and I love the the artwork in Goodman Games products. I have to say. Oh uh, well, thank you for that because we really pride ourselves on our artwork. Uh, so for this book is a full color book, which is standard for monster books, but um, all full color artwork which is kind of unusual for Goodman Games, but it's all created in, on physical medium. Um, so first of all, real people have created all this artwork, and it's these art, where these art pieces exist. There's gonna be over 500 pieces of monster art in full color, that if you're ever at one of our conventions, if you have a particular favorite monster and that artist is there, you might be able to buy that piece, which is very exciting. I always try to buy a couple of pieces of art. Um, it helps the artist out, obviously.
but it's just really cool designing something and then owning an original piece of art for it. So, so I, I love that part. What makes a monster cool? Well, something that within the frameworks of the rules really lets the rules shine, if you will, and, and different, and something that, you know, players haven't seen before. I think that's the key thing. We all know what an orc is, we all know what a goblin is, but you know what, when you get something, uh, a humanoid you've never run into before, you know, fast, like for example, um, you know, this might be a, a spoiler, but cockroach men, I mean, you know, just that conjures a certain image in your mind, and if you can make that sing with the rules, that is where you really kind of hit gold. One of the awesome things about this project was, so we had all these different designs, we had over 20 designers working on this project. Then we had a team of editors. Uh, we had six editors, I believe, is working on this project. All of the editors had the ability to contribute and make comments and suggestions to make the monsters better. The editors got their crack at them, and then they all came back to me, and then I got my crack at them again to even, like, you know, approve or disapprove some of the changes and make them cooler. So really, you can almost look at it as each monster's had basically three developers working on them, So, which is, which is really cool. Takes a lot of time, you know, especially when you're doing it 500 times, but really cool. If you back the Kickstarter, what else comes with it? Okay, so there's, uh, you, when you do a Kickstarter these days, there's all these supporting products that go with it. Um, one of the more exciting ones we're doing is what we're calling our two-page Dungeon Delves. Uh, this is our encounter book. It's a book that's going to be featuring the monsters in their lairs. They're each going to be two pages, so very short. Basically a lair, three to five rooms, one map, one piece of artwork, and then an adventure. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so that's going to be a, a product you'll be able to add that on, or if you go, you know, there'll be packages of the different um, backer levels that you'll get that included. We are doing the first time we've ever done this, cardboard pawns for the monsters. All 500 monsters, including the tiny monsters and the gargantuan monsters, will have cardboard pawns that you will be able to punch out, a physical product that you'll be able to use with that awesome color, art, color artwork at your game table. Oh, that is cool. There's going to be a generic VTT token support, so you can uh, buy the token pack and then you can use it on the, uh, the platform of your choice. There is going to be a GM screen. Um, and actually, I should probably back up. So this is going to be a hardcover. If you buy the hardcover, you get the PDF for free. And it's going to be in 5e rules and DCC rules. So you get both. There's going to be two different, not in the same book. They're going to be different books. Right. So so you can you can pick which one you want, either the DCC flavor or you can pick the 5e flavor. The art's all going to be the same, but the stats are completely different. Obviously, there's going to be dice. There's going to be a T-shirt. There's going to be a GM screen with some of the cool artwork on it. And then inside the, on the back side of the gem screen for the 5e version, there's going to be a bunch of tables, uh, monsters by CR, monsters by type, monsters by terrain, whatever we can fit on there. But what's really cool for the DCC fans, on the inside of that Game Master screen is going to be those tables of how to kind of DCC-ify those monsters, you know, exploding humanoids and organs popping out and attacking you and all that kind of crazy stuff that makes DCC what makes DCC sing. Critical hit tables for specific monster groups. When does it start? Uh, the Kickstarter is going to start on uh, February 21st. Um, I'm not sure exactly the time. It's probably going to be around noon Eastern time. Which would be today. Uh, yes, correct. Uh, so Stop go right now. Right. After you after you finish this video, go jump the Kickstarter ad. There's going to be a link right below. Um, I assume you're going to put the link in below yep. uh, that people can go and back the Kickstarter um, right away. And again, another amazing thing we're going to do is there's going to be a lot of community engagement. So we're going to actually allow... Uh, backers to submit their own monster so that they could be published in the book as well. You will get an invitation basically to submit a monster following our guidelines. We're going to have all the rules on how you do it. Possibly up to 20 monsters will be created by the backers. Oh, that is so neat. Yes. Yeah, so, really and, cool. and community engagement, we've got Twitch shows planned. Uh, we have a full slate of Twitch, plan uh, Twitch shows planned. Um, uh, 20 Sides to Every Story, which is a uh, live stream YouTube channel and, and Twitch channel. They're going to do some live playthroughs during the Kickstarter. So there's going to be a lot of opportunities to actually engage with the designers. We're going to get a lot of the designers up in front of folks so that they can meet them and see who are the folks that uh, developed all these monsters. Uh, m many of those folks that I already mentioned to you are going to jump on the Twitch stream with us and they're going to be there and they're going to answer uh, questions in the chat and, and basically just talk about their awesome monsters which hopefully they remember them since they designed them like two and a half years ago. So Goodman Games still goes to conventions. Yes. Last year was our triumphant return to Origins, Gen Con, 
Gary Con. Um, if you guys haven't been to some of the bigger ones at Origins and Gen Con, uh, we unveiled our Ziggurat last year, uh, which is a massive wooden structure at our booth, which is amazing. We also unveiled our wizard van uh, last year at Gen Con, where we actually have a van that's got a completely custom interior that we were allowed to drive into the convention facility and park uh, where we were running our tournaments, and we actually ran games out of the back of it. As a matter of fact, Dan, if you're coming to Gen Con next year and you want to run something out of the wizard van, or even just do an interview out of the wizard van, or greet your fans at the wizard van, you let me know and I can make that happen because it's a really cool space to be in a carpeted shag like 70s 80s uh, interior of a van and running a game it's fabulous well depending on where i am in the gen con housing lottery i may be <laughs> staying in the wizard van. well you know we could talk about that too that's that's true that's uh that's coming up very too the the hotel grab every good kickstarter's got stretch goals and we've kind of become famous for our stretch goals adding a lot of extra stuff to things so right now um the stretch goals that we have planned are additional monsters because you can never have too many monsters and you're probably saying wait we're already getting 500 monsters i'm like yeah so this was another conversation i had with our my publisher at one point after we got into this and it became a reality that we were doing this same deal i said you know joe what sounds better than 500 monsters for 5e and then there was a pause and then i said 555 monsters for 5e that sounds idea, even yeah. better <laughs> yeah and again there was a pause over the phone, and then I love it. So we have uh, the first stretch goals that we will be unveiling will be additional monsters that will be added uh, to the book. If we hit our goals, there will be 55 additional monsters. Um, in addition, if you back the project in the first 48 hours, you will get an additional monster that nobody else will get. Uh, we're probably nuts for doing a book like this, uh, really two books for this because there's a DCC version and a 5e version. But uh, we love a challenge, and uh, we think our team is up for the challenge, and uh, we've been working very hard for the better part of, of two and a half years, almost three years on this project. We are so excited to, uh, to finally release it on Kickstarter and get it out there. So follow the link below to Kickstarter if you want to back this fascinating project. There are also links below to Dungeon Craft Facebook and Patreon, and Chris and I will talk more about the business of gaming on Patreon as well. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, mm -hmm. Professor. I appreciate it. All right, we'll see you soon. May all your rolls be 20s. Get bigger again. What the hell is that? That's my uh, contribution to Dungeon Denizens. You might want to be careful. It will bite your head off on a natural 20. What kind of sicko are you? While I'm saving this imbecile, get a Deathbringer t-shirt and watch more Dungeon Craft.